Mardrin. This is Dr. A. Blotch. I have received the letters that your students wrote this week and have passed them along to Dr. Thaddeus Blotch, Drs. A. and L. Blotch, and Dr. W. Blotch for review. I asked them to record themselves so I could easily get that information into my documentary. I thought the writers may also want to hear their feedback. So here it is. Dear Joe Sire, I was very displeased to receive your letter, and I have some thoughts. I shall put them into very little words so that you understand. <clears throat> One, it is pickled Limburger cheese spread and not putrid onion toenail jam. Only people of taste and distinction know that putrid onion toenails are used for making consomme, not jam. How very foolish you must feel. B. Not only do I have many PhDs, I have a PhD in getting PhDs from the Polyhedral Hydroprological Dialectorium. That, if you must know, is a PhD in PhDs from PhD. I'm sure you must feel terribly silly now. Finally, I have just patented my very latest invention, the anti-ketchup force field, which will keep out ketchup, people who like ketchup, and anything that is colored red, because, as I have said before, nobody likes ketchup, Josiah. You are very smart, and I respect you as well. I look forward to stealing more of your ideas. Oh, what was that, Morgan? Ahem. I look forward to collaborating with you more in the future. Hugs and kisses, but not really, Dr. Thaddeus Blotch. Ah, yes, hello, Margin. This is Doctors A and L Blotch from week two of Blotch's writing challenge. We've received a letter. It looks like fan mail from Rihito. Rihito, we wanted to thank you for your letter. We used to watch Tom and Jerry back when we were small blotches, but we haven't seen the show in a while. Unfortunately, it looks like we won't be able to watch television for a while here in our Antarctica mansion, since we had a bit of an accident with a polar bear and our television last weekend. I also appreciate your recommendations for what to do if we ever visit Ann Arbor. There's a similar city close to us called Ann Antarctica. It has a lot of ice trees and parks that have been frozen over. Perhaps we could take your suggestion and try to scoop up some Arctic tadpoles. No, Dr. Blotch, remember that our nets were stolen during that break-in last week? Oh, right. Well, Rihito, thank you for your letter, and we hope to hear from you again soon. Megan, I am sending you this quick missive because I have intercepted some contraband from one of your students. A student by the name of Aaron Logwoods attempted to send you a letter about a very fascinating story that he's working on, but he included slander about the doctor's blot, and I must, I must correct it. I have many and nefarious filters set up throughout the internet to to intercept such slander and libel, and uh, and I have to say that what Aaron wrote about me could not be further from the truth. I am quite handsome, and I am not a thing at all, and I, and I'm not even old. I'm 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 only 25 years old. There are many doctors, blot, and 25 is not old at all. Anyhow, Aaron, I will choose to forgive you because I thought your idea for a novel over 91 pages called Have You Seen This Man was absolutely enthralling. Uh, the title from the very get-go uh, draws one into the narrative and, and, and you want to find out what is going on with this, with, this, with this plot of millions of people stealing billions of dollars from the government. I love that sort of thing. I don't like the government to have any of my money. Uh, so I can't wait to read it. So please, if you could just correct the things about the doctor's plot, Aaron, and write up this novel. I don't care how you send it to Megan. You will work that out between the two of you. You can send pictures of the pages. You can send them all at once. I do not care. But I want to read it. Thank you. Blot out. As you can see, I was able to collect lots of great information on several members of the Blotch family through this project. So I thank your young writers for their help with this secret project. Well, I'm off to change the batteries in my secret polar bear cameras to hopefully get some more film for this documentary. Wish me luck.
and I'll talk to you soon.